Imagine you are on a peaceful day at sea, watching the waves roll by, when suddenly the ocean's surface begins to ripple and bubble. Before you know it, a sleek, steel vessel rises from the depths, breaking through the water and into the light. This is the world of submarines, and it's time for you to join us on an underwater adventure. Throughout history, humans have been captivated by the mysteries of the ocean and the thrill of underwater exploration. Submarines have allowed us to venture into these unknown depths, and they continue to be a source of fascination and intrigue. Before diving deeper into the video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more fascinating content. A submarine is a complex and sophisticated underwater vessel made up of a variety of different parts that work together to enable it to operate effectively in the ocean depths. First and foremost, there's the hull. The hull is the outermost layer of the submarine that provides protection to the crew and the internal components. It is designed to withstand the immense pressures of the deep ocean, as well as the corrosive salt water that is found in the ocean. The hull of a submarine is divided into two main parts, the inner hull, which is a strong, reinforced structure that contains the crew quarters and other living spaces, and the outer hull, which is a thinner layer that helps the submarine maintain its shape and stability in the water. Another key part of the submarine is the ballast tanks. These tanks are used to control the submarine's buoyancy and depth, allowing it to rise and sink in the water. The ballast tanks are filled with water when the submarine is diving and emptied when it rises to the surface. The tanks are operated by a complex system of pumps and valves, which allow the submarine to precisely control its weight and balance underwater. Propulsion is another important aspect of a submarine's design. The submarine is moved through the water by powerful electric motors that drive the propellers located at the stern of the vessel. The motors receive their energy from the submarine's batteries or from diesel-powered generators, which are used to produce electricity when the batteries are depleted. The propellers are controlled by a rudder, which helps the submarine steer and change direction as needed. Another important component of the submarine is the periscope. The periscope is a critical tool for navigation and observation, allowing the crew to see above the surface of the water and gather information about their surroundings. Modern submarines often use fiber optic periscopes, which are more compact and lightweight than traditional mechanical periscopes, but provide the same essential information. Batteries are another critical part of the submarine's design. They store energy generated by the diesel generators and provide power to the submarine's electric motors and other systems. The batteries are rechargeable and are used to provide the submarine with power when the generators are not in use. Finally, sonar is an important tool used by the crew to navigate and detect objects in the water. Sonar works by emitting sound waves and listening for the echoes that are reflected back from the surrounding environment. The information gathered by the sonar system is used to create a detailed picture of the submarine's surroundings, helping the crew navigate safely through the dark and murky ocean waters. Submarines are marvels of human engineering, designed to navigate and survive in one of the harshest environments on Earth. Diving and surfacing, maintaining buoyancy, moving underwater, and staying stealthy are all essential components of operating a submarine. When diving, a submarine must prepare itself and its crew for the descent, including recharging batteries and taking on fresh air. To control its depth, the crew will use the submarine's ballast tanks to fill or empty with water. To surface, the crew will empty the tanks, causing the submarine to rise to the surface. Maintaining the submarine's buoyancy is critical for its safety, and this is achieved through the use of ballast tanks. The submarine's control room, where the crew monitors systems and makes decisions, is the heart of the vessel. Here, the captain and other senior crew members use information from sonar and other sensors to navigate the submarine and carry out its mission. To move underwater, the submarine relies on its electric motors for propulsion and operates as quietly as possible to stay stealthy. The crew must be highly trained to operate the vessel and work together as a team, often living in close quarters for extended periods of time. Life aboard a submarine is an unparalleled experience, and the crew members who live and work on these vessels must be highly trained and resilient. 
Living in close quarters with limited space, they must navigate the challenges of food and supplies, waste management, and communication with the outside world, all while performing their mission with the highest level of professionalism. The living quarters on a submarine are compact and designed to maximize space, with bunks stacked in tight rows and storage space at a premium. Despite the small living space, the crew must maintain a high level of cleanliness and organization to ensure the well-being of all those on board. Sustaining the crew with nutritious food and supplies is a crucial aspect of life on a submarine. The galley must provide wholesome and balanced meals, and supplies must be carefully managed to ensure that the crew always has what they need. The submarine stores must be replenished at every port call, and the crew must learn to be resourceful with the limited supplies they have on board. Waste management is also a crucial aspect of life on a submarine, as the crew must find ways to dispose of waste and sewage while at sea. This can include the use of special treatment systems and storage facilities, as well as careful management of waste and recycling to minimize the environmental impact of the submarine's operations. The world of submarines is incredibly diverse, encompassing a range of different types of vessels that are designed for a variety of purposes. Two of the most common types of submarines are nuclear and diesel electric submarines. In addition, there is a growing interest in Air Independent Propulsion AIP, submarines, which are seen as the next frontier in underwater exploration. Nuclear submarines are powered by a nuclear reactor and are designed for long-range, high-speed operations. They can remain underwater for extended periods of time, allowing them to carry out deep-sea research, carry out military missions, or simply explore the world's oceans. These submarines are incredibly advanced, incorporating cutting-edge technology and innovative design features that make them ideal for a range of different purposes. Diesel electric submarines, on the other hand, are powered by diesel engines and use electric motors to move through the water. They are designed for more short-range operations and are often used by navies around the world for surveillance and reconnaissance missions. Despite being less advanced than nuclear submarines, diesel-electric submarines are still incredibly important vessels, providing critical information and support to military operations and scientific research. Finally, there is a growing interest in air-independent propulsion AIP, submarines, which use stored oxygen and hydrogen to produce electricity, allowing them to remain underwater for longer periods of time. This new technology is seen as the next frontier in submarine design and is likely to play an increasingly important role in shaping the future of underwater exploration and military operations.